Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market of uh, Thursday expiry end of expiry edition. This is the last one of the week. Um, so let's start as usual by looking at what we said yesterday and what happened. So that did not go, you know, uh, as we planned because yesterday when we looked at the market, we said that there is a formation here, and then yesterday it went above that. it broke the 100 dma and we said that okay there is the middle of this channel dotted line here but it is not likely that that line will be respected and there can be more upside we said because there was no rejection wick here right so basically we are yesterday's expectation was that nifty will go up further why because one the uh, there was this uh, bullish sort of candle formation it had a confirmation and it went and touched this middle of the channel line which is a resistance but then there was no sign of resistance there because you know the rejection there was no rejection wick there and it closed strongly near that and so we and we also looked at option chain data and depending on that based on that we thought okay probably market is going to sustain its momentum this is what we thought and this is where we got it wrong so today when the market opened below this line and there was steady selling all throughout right so it seems like the market let me just see user comments yep um, wow okay meta share price is 25% down interesting so today what meta share price is 25% down okay interesting very very interesting so today right we now know with some confidence that this middle of the channel line which is the dotted line has uh, played its part right we also know that uh, there is resistance here and now it has broken the 100 dma and come back to this point where this bullish uh, hammer or you know the uh, paper umbrella or call it whatever you want this played out right so basically the market has taken resistance at the middle of this channel dotted line and now it is below the 100 dma line so chart wise at least right this resistance has played out there is severe resistance around 17800 level so chart taking resistance at 17800 levels is the first point right now we'll also look at some user generated charts today <clears throat> now let's let's go straight to that right so today's charts are let me quickly open this okay so there is a clean break chart so vishwanathan so let's start with pranav's chart so pranav has sent this chart which is nifty daily time frame uh, sorry in, in in nifty is a is a it's a basically there is this chart and he is saying that nifty has dipped below in this chart right you can see this channel forming here and it has broken towards the end of the day this is an hourly time frame chart right yeah it looks like an hourly time frame what what is this chart or is it like yeah ohlc 15 minutes i think it's 15 minutes chart so this this is for the first chart i would like to show the second chart is sorry one hour channel break from vishwanathan so vishwanathan is also showing that one hour channel has broken and today we have a break right now let's look at our third chart for the day ganesh ganesh also is saying the same thing that there is a channel break right so everybody has spotted the break in the early channel so we'll come to anomalies and uh, sagar's chart later because they are in fee chart mehul has also sent a chart and this is on bank nifty mehul is saying that bank sorry this is again on nifty so for him it has not broken it is at the bottom of the channel so now let us see the early early chart right so let's go to the early time frame and let us try to draw the early chart right so this is a parallel channel at this bottom this bottom 
okay very interesting this is very touch and go right i mean at this point it's very difficult to say if it has broken or not but you get the general meta we we have spotted that there is an hourly channel right let me just i mean right if you look at this early channel you can see that there is a i mean it's at least testing the bottom i'm not saying it has broken because that is not very clear from this chart but so many people have said that this is broken uh, because i'm guessing that they connected it in a different way but you know the important point is that we know there is such a chart in play basically there's an early channel which is very close to its bottom bar broken so tomorrow when the market opens you will have, have greater clarity on if it is broken or not so we can watch i mean see I, the the exact thing whether a channel is broken or not is kind of subjective in such very close touch and go situations right but hmm. I mean, if you connect this bottom or bottom without connecting the wick and if you connect only the body bottoms you can see that this chart is broken but if you connect the bottom as in wick this chart is still inside right so i mean that depends on you but tomorrow if you see sustained selling it is pretty clear that this early channel is broken and there will be you know further bearishness bottom bar broke the early channel so i i i, I for, for me for looking at it like this it's not very clear if it is actually broken or is it at the bottom but let's let's say that there's a resistance at 17800 levels and there is a early channel in the formation which is either broken or is at the bottom so this is the so this is almost like the inception of channels at the nish is pointing out so now this is point there are too many channels abai i i also understand i also agree maybe we can remove some old channels right let's i mean there are some channels which are there because it has been there forever so let me just take it out of the go to the daily time frame and i'll remove some channels hmm which one do you want me to remove this is a real channel uh, there are only 3 1 2 3 4 channels this is a small time frame channel but i think the smaller time frame channel is very important because this is the most current channel right but we'll come to that anyway so now let us look at option chain now if you before you look at option chain data it is very important to know that this is the last day of expiry so it does not have any material significance and the new option chain has not formed nevertheless let's look at what it looks like right it's very early you can't take it seriously but as of now 17700 and 17800 have uh, calls built 17500 has significant puts built although this is first day we'll just see what is the pcr pcr is at 0.6 but but let's say too early too early right so there's nothing in option chain for us that is the reality tomorrow we'll see more right and i'll just add watch the break watch if if it breaks sorry so now let's go to fi option data fi option data is super interesting so these are obviously uh, you know ex expiry day activity so this can be a little bit corrupted but it is beyond doubt that the calls are pulling away from the puts and it is beyond doubt that they have sold stock bii has sold stock and fi has sold index futures so uh, more puts than calls which means it is bearish 1000 crore sell they are back to selling mode and in stocks there is 15 1600 crore selling the verdict looks like there is there might be continued bearishness right i mean i i know that yesterday we were expecting it to go up but it looks like see that this resistance will play out like this yesterday was not very obvious from the chart but now we know that there was a resistance and then it has played out and it did not get broken did not get broken and it has played out but now that we have established that there is a resistance here and then there is a price action now we know that this resistance has come into play and the 100 dma has been broken so now i would expect this to be tested and this to be tested and maybe we can get a revisit all the way to the bottom of this level especially because that early channel has broken and fii's and dii's have gone back to uh, selling again especially fii's have gone back to selling again right so trades are bearish trades and will look to sell 
calls for theta or again right short futures <coughs> uh, spreads all of that basically all sorts of bearish trades right this is what i'll try and do now let's look at the import interesting graph which is bank nifty so yesterday right we did look at a uh, line which was this because we connected this top we connected this top and then we saw that this has given a breakout but if you connect the bottoms of this you know long running channel like actually there's a long running channel here this 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 bottom 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 but here's the thing which we did not have yesterday right if you and especially because of the way price action has acted today it is very clear so there is a resistance here right which, which is this top, this top, this series of tops and bottoms, this top, right? Every time Bank Nifty went in this direction, there was a resistance. Now, yesterday it was incorrect to say that the price action uh, will happen or there is a resistance here because yesterday we had a strong close without a rejection wick, which is which was above this channel, right? But today two things has happened. One, it has come back into this channel and closed in the channel. Second is, this is a bearish harami, right? This is a perfect bearish harami there is a small red candle which is completely inside a bigger green candle this is a reversal signal now if you put it in conjunction with the fact that there's a channel here there's a resistance here and that this uh, uh, this is now showing negative price action i would expect bank nifty to show some downside from here now of course we couldn't have predicted it yesterday because yesterday looking at it it didn't appear like there was a, I mean, it didn't appear like there was any resistance here because yesterday we almost had a breakdown, breakout and a very clean close with hardly any rejection wick. But looking at today's price action, it is becoming kind of clear that there is a resistance here and there is a reversal signal which is getting generated here. So a bearish harami at the top of a channel is clearly a reversal signal. So we can expect Bank Nifty to fall back a little bit. Right now, let us go back to uh, before we do USDNR, let's do some user comments. Yeah, Deepak is saying in one day it has all U turned. Yes, it happens. That's the problem with trend following because in trend following, we never know what is going to happen till the trend reverses, right? Most of the times you're better off by being with the trend. But see, the good thing is that we at least knew that the broad trend was down. So we knew that there was upside, but we did not know how much was the upside because this channel, right? So that's the thing which we talked about, right? In a, if you know that the broader trend is down, which is this channel, right? Because Nifty has been forming lower highs in the last six months. We know that the broader trend is down. So even if you're long, right, you'll bet size correctly. So whenever you're long in this market, you'll go long with smaller lots, if you are short, you will go short with bigger lots. So if you do that, the damage is very limiting in case you had gone long today because we know the broader trend is down. So that's the only way. I mean, this is bound to happen if you're trend following at some point when the trend reverses, you, we are bound to make losses, right? Now, let's look at, but but in the in, in, in hindsight, right, this is not take them suddenly that it, like today's fall was such that you had an opportunity to get out of your longs all throughout today it was not sudden it was not a gap down so a deep a, a strict stop loss would have saved a lot of heartache today now let's go back to usd INR. and on usd INR we have to uh, you know look at uh, local data because the foreign data is corrupted by the presence of you know, let's see usd INR, usd, INR, USD INR. yes Right. So this is interesting. So USD INR, which we were talking yesterday, that there is a positive candle. It is taking support at these levels. Yesterday, there was an indecision candle or doji. And today, it is again giving you a green candle. So it looks like USD INR is consolidating at this level. This is definitely not a short. This is probably a time to either sell put spread, sell puts or initiate longs for a up move which is likely to happen. So if you look at this graph, right, today this graph has gone down a little bit after India closing, but then India closing is what we should look at because if you're looking at India's trading, like considering that, oh, you know, India is where majority of action happens, whatever action happens after market close, it's not even reliable as SGX Nifty is for Nifty, right? But 
clearly USD INR is in an uptrend. It has consolidated. It has given a reversal signal here. And now it is consolidating a little bit. It is highly likely that it will go. So now net net verdict, right, is that bank nifty looks like it has hit a ceiling. Nifty looks like it has hit a ceiling, which is this dotted line. USD INR looks like it is consolidating. Pro and FIA data has again started reversing to index short stock sell everything. Today, FIA, DIA both sold, which means the only people who bought today are retail. It looks like we are going to see pain in the days to come. So again, we have to change our view from a mostly little bit of so yesterday, day before all these days when we talked about we were saying that a little bit of upside is left. That little bit of upside can be played with lower bet sizes. It looks like that little bit of upside is done. And now we are back into the territory of bears, right? As you know, one of our users even sent a Twitter chart today. So he was saying that, so he looked at the open interest, sorry, open interest for today's expiry. And, and he was saying that, you know, this is what it looks like. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, he was just showing this part. And you're saying, okay, you know what it looks like. This is exactly what has happened today for people who are bullish. So this is net net it, right? So we might see pain in Nifty. We might see the pain in Bank Nifty because top of the channel, middle of the channel, USDN are consolidating. Net net, our verdict is that in the next few days, it is better to be predominantly short than long. So this is our analysis for today. We'll take a pause here uh, and look at our user comments. Sumit is asking, uh, day before yesterday, we were saying that you'll get a self advisory certificate. So, yeah, Sumit, you can send it to the email ID advisors at sensible.com. So, I'll just, uh, I'll just type this out here. So, the email ID to which you have to send your PNL is advisors at sensible.com. We'll, basically, what we are trying to do is, um, so, so, SEBI usually is of the, so, it's, it's very tricky. You either need five years of experience in capital markets or a postgraduate diploma or a professional qualification, but they are silent on what is the definition of a professional qualification. So in this email, you can send it. So we have seen cases where somebody with a BTEC eventually became an RA because he had two years uh, work ex with some uh, trading firm and he published a couple of books on trading that can also happen so this is subjective it entirely depends on the discretion of the SEBI officer who decides to give you a license or not but nevertheless we should try and we'll help you connect to the right people and you know get in touch with consultants it doesn't cost much i think for five years an individual advisor license only costs 10k which is what uh, two lot nifty 100 points right yeah so 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 it's a it's a very worthy investment if you can get this thing uh, so please contact us on this so that we can help you get the li license. If you don't uh, want to get that license immediately and you want to try out, you can obviously try it out with social trading. So somebody was saying that if I have a free plan, I can't do social trading and we are trying to. I don't think so. Even if you are on a sensible free plan, you can publish, right? Like I, So yesterday somebody had commented on YouTube video that we have to take a plan to be able to trade on social trading. I am not sure if that is true, but I'll check what's the deal there because I haven't used a free version in I don't know how many days. But if it is true, please contact us in case you need help with a free plan to do social trading. We'll try to help you out there. Uh, uh, so, so, oh, Bharat, you commented it. Bharat, so please uh, send a mail to help at sensible.com uh, and we'll try to see how we can help you out with that. Right, and we'll try to see if we can make an alternative version of social trading which does not require any kind of a plan. Uh, so yeah, that's our message for today. We'll see you again on Sunday night. Hopefully, uh, you know, tomorrow won't be a bad day for anybody of us involved and hopefully we are all sitting on the right positions. So that's it then. We'll see you on Sunday. Thanks so much for joining again. Uh, and as usual, guys, please keep your capital safe. Uh, good night.